And we now take you to what the military terms as a pullout of the outgoing commander-in-chief of the Defence Forces from KDF headquarters. This is part of the ceremony to bid the president farewell. All right, and as we wait on that story, members of parliament in the United Kingdom convened for a special session this afternoon to pay tribute to Queen Elizabeth II, who died on Thursday. Former UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson described the late monarch as an indomitable leader whose selfless and intergenerational service to her people remains evident even in her death. The leader said her death has robbed them of their mentor, comforter and symbol of unity. Bells tolled in churches across the UK to honour the late Queen. Gun salutes of 96 rounds were also fired at Hyde Park and other places to mark each year of her life. Apart from the ongoing period of national mourning, Buckingham Palace also announced that a period of royal mourning will be observed until seven days after the Queen's funeral. The date of the state funeral is yet to be announced. In the meantime, Britain's new King Charles III is expected to make his first after public address session. as head of state later today. In 1952, she first came to the Palace of Westminster to open the session of Parliament in November 1952, when Winston Churchill was the Prime Minister and Speaker William Morrison was in the chair almost 70 years ago. 57 complete sessions of Parliament have passed since then, and as she was here to open all but three of them, as parliamentarians, we have celebrated with her for silver, golden, diamond jubilees, and of course, marked her platinum jubilee this year. Because occupied the chair during her reign, there were 80, and what a service that entailed, not just as head of the nation, but head of the Commonwealth, Head of the Armed Forces and Supreme Governor of the Church of England. We now have pictures of uh, King Charles III, who is expected to make his first public address as head of state later today. King Charles becomes a king after the death of Queen Elizabeth II, and he is expected to make his first public address as king later today. So those are images there of his arrival, and we will be keeping tabs on what he will have to say. And uh, remember, Queen Elizabeth II died yesterday. The monarch, um, of course, uh, will be honored um, in a state of mourning across the UK, seven days of public mourning. And uh, we are waiting to hear from the new King Charles III, who will be addressing the public for the first time since the Queen's death. 